So when you start filming, one of the things I like to do is to pan around so the potential buyer can see the neighborhood. And again, when you're panning, I will say this a lot, pan slowly. Pardon the appearance of my hand, it is currently sprinkling. So once you've done a slow pan, and you'll want to remove things such as uh, recycling bins and garbage cans, we're going to slowly walk into the home. And again, I'm holding my phone with two hands and walking steady. We always need to remember that the person watching the video does not want to get nauseous seeing a bunch of jerking motions or quick panning. So once we're inside, again, we're going to want to do slow pans of the entire room from different directions. And so as we walk into this room, we're going to go over here and again, slowly pan so they can understand the layout of the home from every direction. Feel free also to point out different items, such as these vintage lights, stainless steel appliances, anything else that you think would add value to the buyer. Also remember some of the small details Normally a garage access door would not be worth pointing out, but however, this one does have a pet door, which might be attractive to some buyers. Same thing with utility rooms. Point out that there's gas and electric connections. And don't be afraid to pan up to feature more architectural features or added bonuses in the room. One thing we always try to do is to not have doors obstruct our view or be seen in mirrors, but sometimes it's not possible. So this is a good example. Had we opened this other closet door, we would obstruct the view of the shower. In this case, we get some reflection from the sink. So we'll want to pan slowly and show that this shower has a seat in it as well. Again, this is another one where you know, it's probably better to show this vanity so you can have this door half open and then just kind of pan in. And notice I'm ducking the camera around the mirror. But we're about to see an example of sometimes you just cannot get away from being seen in a mirror.
Normally, if it were not raining, I would recommend going to the other end of the yard back there in the corner to shoot an angle panning of the entire backyard. Make sure to point out things on pools of whether they are salt water or not, whether they have hot tubs, any certain kind of liner. Point out things like pocket doors, which are attractive features to some buyers. Built-ins. Mention how a room could be used as something else, like a home office. And so now we have a trick because we have a mirror at the end of the hallway that I don't want to be spotted in, if possible. So secondary bedrooms are sometimes hard to film because you don't get the real depth of them, but you still will want to show them and show things like closets and point out in this case that there is a second closet that is obstructed by this door. So in this room, you could point out the double closet. And that this bathroom has its own ensuite bath.